Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jim the Sim, and we are back into The Sims 4 for another Sims 4 Custom Content Showcase Dash Finds video. I believe that this is going to be the 23rd one. I don't really know if that makes a difference. Probably not, but um, it's good information to know, I guess. So without further ado, let us go and hop right into it. So, first off, we actually do have a few different things from Simpliciati. One of the creators that I have always loved, and I basically love everything that he does. Um, I just think that it is awesome, so I definitely was excited to see that I could download more stuff from him just because I do love his stuff so much. So first thing that we have from him is actually going to be called the Lily Eyes. And as you guys may or may not know, I am kind of hesitant when I choose out my custom content eyes just because I like them to look more realistic as opposed to um, kind of fake, more cartoony, if that makes any sense. So... I was hesitant, but of course it is Simpliciati, so I was definitely down to download these and try them out. And as I look at them in the game, they don't look too bad. Um, I think my model's eyes, like irises I guess they're called, are a bit big, so if I make them a little bit smaller it might look even better. I do like some of the colors, some of the colors I could do without, but I definitely do think that I will get a good use out of the lighter colors of these um, eyes, such as these that I'm showing right now. But as for the darker colors, I don't know so much about. But that is the Lily Eyes by Simpliciati. Next, we actually do have another thing from Simpliciati. I'm going to go ahead and put on this tank top so that I can show you off what we have next. So we do have an overcoat. I don't really remember what it is called. Give me one second. It is called the Miss Duo's Coat. It is originally from The Sims 3 to The Sims 4, so as you guys can see, it is nothing more than just kind of a pea coat type of thing. It's not super long, not super short, it's a good length, um, and of course it does look awesome, I would say. I will definitely be using this, I can tell you that right now. Um, a few months ago, they actually released, Simpliciati actually released a coat like this, and it's, I they're pretty similar if you ask, oh wait no, sorry. They released this, but that one glitched, so never mind. Um, but now we have this, and it does remind me of this one that is actually in my game as well. It's not from the same creator, but it does remind me of that. And as you can see, it is just an overcoat, so I will most definitely be using this. I don't know if I will use it so much now, now that it is summer. I kind of want to dress my sims up accordingly, so I might use it more towards the winter time, if that makes any sort of sense. Probably not, but um, it makes sense in my head, so that is probably how I'm going to do it. Next, we actually do have a hair. Um, well, we're going to go bald first, but we actually do have a hair from Hallow Sims. Um, I've, as you can see, I've been getting quite a few of their hairs pretty recently, and I cannot, or I can say that I'm pretty pleased with their work. Pretty pleased. Um, I am fairly pleased with their work just because I do like the hairstyles. The hair colors I'm not so hot about, but of course the hairstyles do look amazing. As you can see, this is a pretty long um, type of wavy hair. It's pulled back. And the one thing that I was hesitant about with this hair is the back of it. I don't really know what it is. It's kind of twisted into a knot. I'm not super excited about that, but of course um, it is the back for a reason, wink wink, um, and then the front obviously looks pretty good, so I will, I would say that I'll probably end up wearing this on my Sims one time or another, um, probably in the blonder colors or the dark browns, I don't know, a lot of the colors in my game look off because of my settings, I don't know what settings I have it set to to make it do that, but I have noticed that my the stuff in my game kind of looks different from what I see other places, but I've kind of gotten used to it. So I will go ahead and put on a different hair for the use of this video, one that does not cover her face. Let me go ahead and find one very quickly. Alright, so we do have some makeup to show off, and this is going to be coming to you from Simsfora, another page that I frequent a lot on Tumblr. I definitely do like their stuff a lot. I always get it, and I'm always very pleased with their work. So um, we actually do have the Urban Decay palette. I don't know if it has a specific name, but all I know it is as Urban Decay. So as you can see, it comes in a variety of different colors. It looks like we get 15 different colors from this palette, which is awesome. And it's nothing too exciting, just obviously eyeshadow, but I will probably m be using this most definitely. And it has more vibrant colors but then again the even the vibrant colors aren't too in your face so i will probably most definitely be using this on my sims i might 
as well. Um, I might even try to use it in more colors that I probably wouldn't tend to use um, regularly just because I do like how the brighter colors look on this sim. But that is the Urban Decay palette by Sims Sephora. So now moving on, we do have some female clothing items to show off. I'm going to go ahead and filter this into um, custom content. Thank you, Sims creators, for doing that. It's such a, a helpful thing. I cannot talk, guys. It is like 10 p.m. It's not super late, but I don't know. I have not been able to talk all day today, so bear with me. Um, this is the Lena Crop Top by, of course, Trilike, as I said earlier. And it is basically just a crop top with um, kind of mesh sides see-through. So that is that. And it's pretty simple, um, nothing too exciting. But I do love the colors that she put for this top. I can tell you that I really like this color. It's more of like a dark brown, which I really usually probably wouldn't like. But I like how it looks on this top a lot. And, um, of course, Trilike is amazing. She actually watches my videos, which I was super surprised at. I was completely taken by shock when I saw her comment on one of my videos. I was super excited over it, just because I use so much of her custom content, and I would say that all of her custom content is awesome, so it was definitely awesome to hear that she did, in fact, watch my videos. Shout out to you, Trilike, if you are watching. Um, next, we actually do have another crop top. Go figure. I feel like a lot of, um... Sims for custom content tops are crop tops for some reason. I just feel like a majority of them are that way. I don't know. I'm not complaining, but um, here we have the pink zombie sexy crop cross top. I was gonna say crop top, but it is cross top. So as you can see right here, it is nothing more than just basically a crop top with a bunch of little stringy, um, ribbony type stuff all around it. It does look super realistic. The mesh to it does look pretty realistic, which is awesome. And we get a huge variety of colors when it comes to this. So I will most definitely be using this. Um, I could probably see myself wearing it with high-waisted jeans like she has on right now, or maybe even a high-waisted skirt if it doesn't look too weird. But I definitely do love the colors of this top, and I will for sure be using this on my Sims. But that is the Sexy Cross Top by Pink Zombie, I believe. Taking that down to the pants, we actually do have another... Um, we do have another pants set from Trilike. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was trying to find the name of these. These are called the Black Skinnies. Um, and as you can see, hence the name, they are just black. Basically... Leggings dash jeans dash latex pants. Um, they they look awesome though. Like as you rotate through the colors, obviously it gets different designs and different materials they are made out of. So I will definitely be using these. I really like this one. Wait, no, not that one. This one. I really like this, and I could definitely see myself wearing these a lot. Um, not even these, but also a lot of these other ones I do definitely like a lot, and they are high-waisted, so keep that in mind. Um, I will definitely be getting a good use out of these pants, but those are the Black Skinnies by Trilike. Next, we actually do have some dresses to show off, and this first dress I actually saw everywhere on Twitter. I don't know um, why everybody was going crazy over it. I mean, it, it looks good, but it's not like the best thing I've ever seen in my life, so... That's that, um, but it's going to be right here for you. This is called the Grande Dress, and I'm assuming it's called Grande because of Ariana Grande, but I do not know, and as you can see, it is just a long-sleeved kind of top, and then the skirt is a little bit like high to low, and I definitely do like this now that I see it in my game. I mean... It's, it's a good dress, and I'll probably end up using it. I just don't know why I literally saw it like 40 million times on my Twitter, but no big deal or anything. Um, but yeah, that is the Grande dress, and it comes in a lot of different colors, so definitely keep that in mind. And one thing that I did see the um, person doing in their thumbnail for this item is they actually paired it with a longer necklace like this, which I could definitely see working out if you got the right necklace. Um, something like that I think would look really good, just because it is so kind of plain on the top and the bottom of course but you can change that real quick by adding a simple necklace or something like that styling tips with jim they probably suck but um bear with me guys i think i just said that a little bit ago i don't know i cannot talk i apologize if i'm all over the place i don't know what it is about me but today 
my vocal cords just aren't working as they should. But next, we actually do have another dress, and this is going to be called the Metins Press Lava Dress. Um, and I was actually pretty excited to see how this would look in the game, just because it is such a unique dress. And the design of it and everything is just so unique, and I definitely do like it. So as you can see, it's kind of just like a tuby top dress, nothing in the back, nothing too exciting. And then you have this little mesh area, and then of course you have this other lace around the top of it, which is awesome. I definitely do like this a lot. I like the color combinations that it comes in, so I will definitely be getting a good use out of this. I definitely could see my Sims um, wearing this to formal events or something like that. And yeah, that is the Press Lava dress. I just realized that I probably said definitely like 40 times in the same sentence, but <laughs> um, don't hate me for it, guys. Do not hate me for it. Um, next we do have a dress collection, not just a single dress, but a whole collection, guys. So I saw this, and right off the bat, I really didn't get this, um, thinking that I was going to be wearing it on my Sims, which I guess is probably a bad thing, because you probably should be going into something knowing that you're going to wear it on my, on your Sims. But I actually got this with the intentions of using it in my shop, um, for my models, because they are such, like, fine dresses. So here's the first one, and this is probably right off the bat my favorite one from the thumbnail at least. I can assure you that this will probably be my favorite one inside the game as well. But as you can see, it is kind of just a floor length dress, and the top is strapless, and then of course it comes in two different colors. I could definitely actually see my Sims wearing this one to their wedding as a wedding dress. Um, it's kind of more unique, but I could definitely see my Sims wearing this as a wedding dress, which I will probably end up doing if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and of course, I will probably use this one for more formal events. But this is going to actually be called the Sawyer Collection. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I just realized that I completely forgot to say what the collection is called, but this is the Sawyer Collection. Moving on, we do have this dress right here, and as you can see, it's kind of a peplum top with a lot of design went going into it, and then it looks like it's a maxi skirt underneath it. And of course, it does come in the same two colors as the last one did, just black and white, nothing too special. Don't know if I'll wear this one, just because I really don't know if I like the top as much. Um, I don't really know if I like how it protrudes out, but... I could definitely see my models in my stores wearing this just because it is such a fine dress and the detail in it is amazing. So I could definitely see myself using it for that purpose. But as for actually wearing it on my Sims, I don't know if that will happen. Next, we do have a dress right here. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of just pretty basic. Not basic for the design, but the um, overall feel for it is kind of basic. The design on it looks pretty good, I would say. Um, obviously, it does not come in more than one color, which is kind of disappointing. But then again, I can't really complain because these dresses are so intricate that it might take forever if you make it in more than one color. And then last but not least, we do have this dress right here. And it looks like it's glitching a little bit in the arms, so... Um, keep caution with this, but it comes in obviously black and white, and I can definitely tell you that I probably like the black one a lot more than I like the white one. Um, I just don't know if I really like how the white one looks with all the design, but I do think that the black one looks awesome, so I will definitely be getting a good use out of that as well. And next, we actually do have another top that I kind of missed on accident, so let me go back here, pick out the top that I am going to show off to you. Okay, guys, I kind of had some trouble finding it, but I did find it. And as I said, this definitely, like, made me think of Rihanna right when I saw it. So that's kind of why I downloaded it low-key. And this is going to be called the Bohemian Lace Tank Top. So as you can see, it's kind of just a bralette sort of thing. And the front is obviously this type of meshy knit thing. Um, I definitely do like it a lot. I like the colors as I'm looking at them, and I could definitely see myself wearing this a lot more. Like, I could see my Sims wearing it for swimwear, or I could actually see my Sims wearing it with high-waisted shorts as she is now, but I definitely do like this a lot, and I think that the detail put into it is awesome. Plus, I just like how it looks on the Sim. Um, we actually do have another swimsuit. Um, I usually don't get swimsuits. I think this is actually the first CC swimsuit that I've gotten in The Sims 4, just because I really don't see the need for it. Um, I don't know. I really don't focus on my Sims's 
like swimwear. I would focus on their everyday party dash formal wear. So I just kind of went on a limb here to get this. I kind of got it. I know that you're going to hate me for saying this, but I kind of got it because it is summertime. And um, I might be paying more attention to that now that it is summer. But as you can see, it looks like it comes in 10 different colors. And it is nothing too spectacular, just a one piece with obviously this knit. Not knit, but a crisscross design. Um, I was thinking of the last top that we were looking at. But it has this crisscross design in the top of it, and it is just a one piece one piece otherwise and it looks like it comes in two different floral colors and then the rest are just plain um as if i will wear this most definitely it is my only custom content swimsuit so i can see myself getting a fair share out of this just because if i need a custom content swim t sw swimsuit this is going to be the go-to one so i will definitely be using this a lot that is going to wrap it up for this um custom content showcase dash finds video I apologize if I stuttered, like, the whole way through this video. I did not mean to, obviously. Um, I don't know why I cannot talk today. I, I don't know what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will leave all the links for this stuff down below. As always, I hope that you guys found something that you wanted to get into your game. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.